like seasons, war always return. Every 274 and a half years, evil rises to destroy all life. Orcs and humans then set aside their differences to protect their world. Each time, the evil was defeated. Each time, life returned to normal. But a countdown mistake changed everything. Evil emerged two years too early, catching the living off guard. We are not prepared. The schools of magic were the first to fall, throwing the world into chaos. Your studies ended prematurely, now you are one of the last guardians of immeasurable amount of knowledge. It is your duty to preserve it, but above all, to share it. Hello everyone, my name is Peanut and welcome to Spellcaster University. Uh, I... is it wrong to love a game so much when you've never even started playing it? I, I literally just got this game today. I saw that it was like a city builder, but you're building a magic school, and I never clicked the buy button so fast. So we're going to start a new campaign and see where this takes us. I don't know if I want to... I mean, I'm pretty... I'm pretty okay at city builder type games, so I'm going to just leave it on like the regular difficulty. Oh, I get to make a coat of arms? Oh dear. Hypno Peanut University. And of course, oh, there's like a full color wheel. Or I guess it's a color triangle? Anyway, we have to do purple and orange because, I mean, of course. Uh, let's see what different animals we have. Ooh, I like the potion. I like the potion. Hmm. Okay, I think I want the background ones to be like different shades of orange though. That works. And then this can be purple. Ooh, I like that one too. The crystal's nice. The castle's nice. These are all so good. Okay, wait. I like the book. Or... No, the star is nice because it kind of blends in with the... Yeah, I'm staying, I'm staying with the star. I might make it like a lighter purple though. That works for me. Can I change the... Oh, I can change the back. I like that one. Let's go with that one. Okay different locations we can pick from. You know, I was kind of leaning toward the forest just as a general locale, but it seems now like the forest is going to be more trouble than it's worth. Like, the village kind of seems like the ideal starting area. All right, I finally uh, started the tutorial after having my game crash twice. Um, I forgot to set it to run on my uh, NVIDIA graphics card instead of my Intel graphics card. Uh, but well, uh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the game now, so hopefully we won't have problems. Um, this is Archmage Postumus. Uh, he was once the head teacher. Uh, had to give up position for obvious reasons. Yeah. Um, because you're kind of dead. So I guess I will start building a school. Okay, so I have cards... You can build and customize your school, equip students, create new houses. Oh, that's cool. So like, like Hogwarts houses. To play a card, select it and move it toward the play area. So I can do... I only have new house cards right now, I think. Do I have to X that out before I can do anything? Oh, yeah. I can draw from six decks to obtain new cards. When I draw, I can choose one of three, and the more you draw from the same deck, the more expensive the cards become. Okay. These cards are bought with gold, which you gain, for example, when students apply and use refectory. Re refector? And use the refectory. But which you also lose through upkeep and teacher salaries. Okay. So I have to manage money as well as my students. There are five magic schools. Each deck is made up of cards specific to its type of magic and costs mana. Mana is created by students when they study that type of magic. Okay. 
Is this going to be a tutorial where it just tells me everything and then I have to figure the rest out myself? The head teacher's office gives you access to the school's rules. Ooh, I can modify the school's rules. Interesting. I can also see a list of students that have already graduated. That's cool. Every student is given a future at the end of their curriculum depending on their level. The better their magic training is, the more prestigious their future will be, and the better the bonus they will provide the school. Okay. School is prestige. Will impact the number of students who want- I mean, everyone should want to apply to my magic school, because it's going to be the only one that exists. Timeline showing the Lord of Evil's progress lets you know how long remains until he arrives. When it completes, an undead army will come to destroy the magic school. At this point, your only option will be to flee and build a new school elsewhere. Communicating with the Lord of Evil or completing events may slow his progress. Good luck. So that was the tutorial. It was just a bunch of reading. Um, I hope that wasn't too boring. This seems like some sort of choose-your-own-adventure element right here. The farmlands near the kingdom's large cities will be perfect for setting up our school. Their local farmers might cause some trouble, but peasants are always complaining anyway. All right. They keep complaining because we don't know how to handle them. We're here to teach magic, not solve neighborhood crises. Peasants will stop complaining when they see the, num the wonders of magic. Um, I'm going to say they keep complaining because we don't know how to handle them. Um, and I guess build a new house. I don't know where to build things. So I think I'm just going to randomize until I find a name that sounds cool. Noctlide? Dolmir? Tezsamir. I like Tezsamir. I like Tezsamir. Okay. Let's let's make Tezsamir will be like the alchemy one, I guess. Uh, hard worker. I think potion- I think alchemists should be hard workers. So we can have like the green potion bottle and like the- let's use purple and green because those are the colors of Disney evil. Um, because, you know, why not, right? Let's see, priority will be alchemy. I think nature can be a priority too. It can be the house of nature and alchemy. Why not? Nature and alchemy seem to go hand in hand because you need to have, like, stuff. Uniform colors. I guess we'll go with this kind of purpley, purple and gold one that's right here. Oh, you can- it, the button to confirm is like a signature. That's cool. So I made- oh, I made a house. Okay. I made a house, but I didn't build a new building. Hi there, we're from around here. We don't like trouble. And we're not fond of strangers. What exactly are you doing here? We exclusively teach sacred magic in accordance to the rules of the Church of Light. Nope, definitely not. Uh, our school mainly trains mages specialized in the healing of farm animals. That's not... <laughs> Do not worry, our school mainly trains mages that specialize in necromancy and summoning powerful demons. Um, I mean, I do plan on teaching nature, so there's nothing wrong with a little white lie, right? Ooh, I've gotten a student. A student has applied. Iris Zili Ziliev? Cool. They're not really particularly good at ev at anything. Um, I'll just put them in the general class. Tris Ruta Ruta <laughs> Tris Rutabaga. Um, also not really particularly good at every anything. Gonna do. I guess all these people are gonna go in the general class because they're not really gonna be particularly good at anything. I make a new house. Let's make a house for light, light and nature. There we go, okay. Let's go for... Jack of all trades can be a good feature for that one and also chosen by light. Let's go with this sort of bright white and gold one there. The king has sent his regards. Ah, new school for my kingdom, how great, so very great and I would very much like to help, for I am a fair and generous king. What would you need? Uh, let's see. Source of funding or help from the royal architects to build a useful and advanced room. So I can get more money or I can get 
gold. Or I can, I can get more money or I can get gold. I can get uh, more gold or I can get a card. I was thinking the gold's going to be more immediately helpful, but like the card isn't something that I have to build right away, so I could just keep it in my pocket until I have the money to afford it. So I think I'll do that one. Let's do an enchantment workshop. I guess for now we can do new students. They're chosen by the light and well behaved, so let's put them in Al Vizier. I didn't I I realized that I didn't choose an actual name for that one, but I think Al Vizier suits it. Aw. <laughs> this poor person. It just says that they're ugly. Oh, they're also chaotic evil. I did I just noticed this, that it has like D D alignments. Um, I guess I'll put them in the general class. So I've got so that's the entrance. This is the entrance to my school. Ah. Adventurer's Guild. I have found a window between two troll massacres to come say hi. Okay. Uh, the opening of a new magic school is always good news for the Adventurer's Guild. What kind of mage do you train? I mean, I kind of want to do healing and blowing things up. Those are both useful. Um, I get one card out of three for all of these. I'm gonna do mages who can mend folks because right now I'm kind of focusing on like potions and light magic. So, yo, plant that eats scholars' hands. What is, what is this, little shop of horrors? I guess we're gonna get the medical bed, at least for now. Um, and let's let's put the village banner it right here because. I'm in the village, so it's probably a good idea. Let's build this student's hall up here. Oh, goodness. Oh, camera controls. Oh, no, camera controls. Um, I can't just click it. Oh, no, I can. Oh, ah. Okay, I can drag it with my middle mouse button and my right mouse button. Oh, it's the minstrel. Oh, he's cool. <laughs> he's got a star in his eye. Like, that's funny. Greetings, mage. I am the minstrel. But I'm sure you've heard of me before. Well, that's... I only have the choice to say, well, not really. Could have some consequences later on. Trigger's new event. Alright. The minstrel's so handsome. Tonight we're gonna go see him sing at the tavern. The minstrel is distracting your students and they can't work properly. Go see him on the local map to take care of the problem. This is gonna be tough, I can feel it. Alright, I guess we'll go deal with the minstrel? Yes, I'll contact this faction. Oh, what are we doing? Meeting the adventures. wait. I went to the tavern. That's where the minstrel's singing. I, I wanted to talk to the minstrel, not to the Adventurers Guild, but I guess this is happening now. Together we can fight the armies of- Oh, wait. Yo, I have a reputation level with the Lord of Evil. Can I, like, team up with him? I guess I'll do together we can fight the armies of darkness. That's not too much of a problem. Look at my beautiful archmage. My dear colleague, it's always a pleasure to see you. I have the funniest story to tell you. One of our students just became an archmage. Arch, archmage. Archmage? I don't know. Uh, he wasn't particularly bright, if you get my drift. <laughs> oh no. I guess that is the miracle of our modern approach to teaching. What about you? I heard you trained some pretty good herbalists. This one gives me a quest. Oh, so this is like a, this is like a rival headmaster being like, Ooh, look at my students. They're so awesome. Losing parentless children saves a lot on paperwork. I- <laughs> oh no, why am I laughing? Okay, I want to try and talk to the minstrel. How do I talk to the minstrel? Theater. I guess he's not there? So I've got a dormitory and a hall. Or no wait, I've got the hall and I've got the entrance. I can- I'll, I can build a dormitory. I'll build a dormitory right there. I like this building mechanic because you can kind of like make big crazy buildings <laughs> instead of having them be like sturdy because, you know, magic. A refectory is kind of like a uh, a dining hall. So, you know, I think I'm going to put that next to the dormitory. And then we've got the pig chamber. Oh, 
Can I not... Do I not have more space this way? I guess I don't. So the pig chamber is going to have to go up here, I guess. And then we have an enchantment workshop. Oh, an event. The students are bored. There's nothing fun to do in the students' halls. <laughs> oh no. So the two options that I can use are... I'll find an animal for you. Or just study. Um, I'll find a critter. I like the fawn. Some say the mages have enslaved it, but the truth is it loves its pa- It loves its pathetic trough and does not miss its native forest lands at all, obviously. Oh no. I'm choosing that one. Ooh, new student. This person's popular. They're also a procrastinator. I'm gonna put them in general. This person has nothing except being allergic to crustaceans. Okay. Enchantment workshop. Oh, this can go over here for some reason. Oh. Oh, I get an enchantment teacher. All right. Teach enchantment. This person's a coward, so I don't know. They're a poser and a coward. All right, Professor Gilderoy Lockhart. This one's a hawk-eyed ex-adventurer that's clumsy. And How can you be hockey- Hockey. How can you be hawk-eyed and clumsy at the same time? Active students in the same room have a 50% more chances to suffer from magical aberrations. Oh no. Boredom grows faster. You know what? I'm interested to see what magical aberrations are. Some old archives of this random king. We're a bit scared to go there, but maybe you could help us explore. Legends say they contain invaluable documents and permits. An administrative dungeon? No thanks. Of course we'll bankroll an expedition. It's only 50 gold. Why not? This is another person that's just allergic to crustaceans. Okay, it'll let me contact the minstrel now. My favorite admirer, would you like an autograph? Ooh, I can ask him to mark it for me. I can close the tavern to all students. I feel like my students wouldn't like me if I did that. Our students are above earthly pleasures. They will no longer be going to the tavern. I don't like that those are the only two options. Those both seem a little bit cruel to my students. But maybe that's just how the game is meant to be played. <laughs> nah, mark it for me. Okay, I think I'm gonna draw from the standard deck real quick. Ooh. New house, psychologist, or dormitory. Ooh, a psychologist can just make my students completely immune to loss of sanity? I, I'll, I'll build one of those. Okay, I definitely like relaxed and chatty more than procrastinator. Um, so yeah, she's gonna be my psychologist. Um, and now that I've done that one, I guess I'll do the nature one too. Ooh, I can increase, increase the efficiency of all rooms on the floor for the man of war snake. A classroom that allows students to quickly improve their beast magic skills. Okay, I want that one. And I want to try to put it over here, if it'll let me. Ooh. It is time to create specific teaching goals. We should put a curriculum together so our students end up with great futures. What curriculum would you like to create? Okay, I'm going to read through all these real quick. And Prince Charming is Heroism and Enchantment. Well, I've already got an enchantment room, so I think that's the one that I'm closest to. So my students will become Prince Charmings. Alright, let's see if I can build the stable over here. Yeah. Alright. I... I don't know. I already have a clumsy teacher. But I'm not sure how I feel about greedy. Oh, but this one's inspiring. I'll go with that. Off the back of a wagon. Something fell off the back of a wagon near your school. That sounds suspicious. I assumed it was yours. I bet you're the kind of guy who likes to reward generosity, aren't you? What do you think? I'm not that kind of guy. I mean, that's kind of understandable. I'm not even a guy. I should be able to draw an enchantment or an alchemy book thing at some point. Hopefully. I would like to get an alchemy classroom, because I have, like, a whole house dedicated to that, and I'm not... I don't actually have a classroom for it. Ooh, specialty. 
Every respectable school needs a special magic discipline they specialize in. It is crucial if to be recognized internationally. You know what? I know that I haven't been focusing at all on anything arcane, but I kind of like the idea of arcane magic. Because I think if you do arcane magic, then it kind of gives you a bit of room to also do like a little bit of everything else. And also like one of our school colors is purple, which is like literally the color of magic. Let's do arcane. I don't, I don't I'm going to stop rationalizing it and just pick it. So the expedition to the archives was attacked by a paperclip golem. <laughs> a paperclip golem. Just say it was a metal golem and spare yourself the embarrassment. Is that a unicorn guinea pig? I must know. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can get so close. Those are unicorn guinea pigs. I love that. I, I love the uni- the- The unipigs. The unipigs. Ooh, I can reduce the cost of all my cards if I befriend the orcs. And get more mana. Ooh, I- I kinda wanna- I kinda wanna get that up. Humans, what do you want? They're preparing a party. Alright. Well, let's party with them. Why not? I don't see any reason not to. Ooh, I can... Oh, dang it. Oh, the orcs are hun hungry. Oh no. I feel like this is gonna be a problem. I guess we'll see. The human will find us something to eat. Otherwise, okay. So, I get you food or you eat me. That's... Fun. Oh, me and all my students. Okay. I'm kind of tempted to tell them to eat the neighboring village's peaceful citizens. Yeah, okay. Alright, I think we're gonna draw one from the alchemy deck. See if we can get, um, something interesting. Let's do an observatory. Um, yeah, let's put it on top of here. Okay. I think I like the guy with ancient wisdom better. And I think I'm going to call that a video. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed. These kind of games don't generally lend themselves very well to Let's Plays, but um, I'll see what I can do in editing to see if I can make it more more interesting. We'll see. Y'all have a fantastic day! Bye-bye!